Well, around the world, it seems, the spread of the coronavirus is starting to slow. The number of daily infections has been declining significantly. In the US, forecasters say cases have dropped more than 70% in the past five weeks. But the trend may be short-lived as variants rapidly spread to dozens of countries. The US Centers for Disease Control and Prevention say more than 2,000 cases of the variant first found in the UK have now been identified nationwide. And two separate teams of researchers have found a worrying new strain in New York City and other areas of the northeast of the country, leaving the nation's leading infectious disease experts to once again stress the importance of getting vaccinated. We don't know if it works directly against it, but that's the point you want to get across to people. Even though this vaccine is not directly matched to a variant that might occur wherever, South America, uh, South Africa, California, New York, the higher the level of protection against the original one, there's a spillover of protection against the variant. Meantime, regulators in the U.S. could be just days away from greenlighting a third vaccine. Advisors from the Food and Drug Administration will meet in the coming hours to consider emergency use authorization for the Johnson & Johnson vaccine. Mass vaccinations are underway in Hong Kong after regulators there authorized two vaccines for emergency use. Long lines have gathered at vaccination centers which have been opened across the city. Healthcare workers and people over the age of 60 are first to get it. Live now to CNN's Christy Lusout outside a vaccination centre there in Hong Kong. Christy, uh, two vaccines may have been given the green light, but only the Chinese-made Sinovac was actually delivered. That's right. The BioNTech vaccine was due to arrive yesterday. It's been delayed, but we just learned in the last 15 minutes that the Hong Kong government says that that Western-made vaccine will arrive in Hong Kong tomorrow. But this is a big day for Hong Kong. This is the first day of the COVID-19 vaccine rollout here in the city. And the first vaccine up to offer is the one from China, Sinovac. I'm standing outside one of five vaccination sites here. 70,000 Hong Kongers have already signed up for the vaccine. The appointments have been booked solid for the next two weeks. Now, the Sinovac vaccine may have yet to be approved by the World Health Organization, but it has been approved by Hong Kong health authorities and the government here for emergency use. Now, according to the Hong Kong government, priority is to be given to the following individuals, those over the age of 60, health care workers, caregivers, as well as people who work in cross-border transportation, like pilots or drivers. This morning, we've been talking to a number of people who just got vaccinated, including um, a 63-year-old Mrs. Look. She said that the process took about 30 minutes. It was smooth. She also said she was very confident about the efficacy of the Sinovac vaccine. Now, according to a recent University of Hong Kong survey, it said about less than 30% of people questioned said that they would not be willing to take the Sinovac vaccine. And in order to counter that vaccine hesitancy, especially in regards to Sinovac, um, Carrie Lam, the top leader here in Hong Kong earlier this week, got the jab herself. She was inoculated with the Sinovac COVID-19 vaccine in a live televised event. Um, as a result, it seems to be working. A number of people now want to get the vaccine, but BioNTech vaccine is arriving tomorrow. We also just learned that about 200,000 additional vaccination slots will be open to the public on Monday. John. So Christy, we're talking about the healthcare workers uh, and uh, uh, the frontline workers and carers of the elderly, as well as the elderly themselves are the first ones to get this. Uh, and then what's the timeline? Who, can, who else is next and how long will it take? This is a process that's going to take several weeks and several months, but there will be enough inoculations for everyone. The Hong Kong government has said that it has ordered 22 and a half million doses of vaccines, not only from Sinovac, as well as Fosun Pharma BioNTech, but also from Oxford AstraZeneca. Um, that's more than enough to inoculate the entire population of Hong Kong, some seven and a half million people, but it's going to take time. But it seems to be rolling out very smoothly. There is an online registration form in place. People are signing up. There were long lines earlier this morning, and now additional slots will be opened up on Monday. John.
、呃、希望啲疫情快啲過去啦，香港回復自由啦，可以搭下車行下街食下嘢，唔使成日困喺屋企咯。一定要飲茶啦，啊，好好手勢，啊，服務又好，啊啊，各位啊，安心嚟打啦，一定好。其實冇特別啊，希望日常生活回復翻正常咯，同埋冇咁擔心咯。因為其實我哋一直都希望有疫苗，令到香港可以嗰、那個疫情可以受控制咯。去郵局或者公屋辦事處都太多人啦，會唔會考慮即到即場開放一啲即場嘅大？誒，今日咧，我同大家一樣啦。誒，心情咧都係非常之興奮，因為咧呢、這個都係一個關鍵嘅時刻。誒，亦都係我哋正式咧，係為誒廣大市民咧係接種疫苗誒嘅一日啊！咁啊，今朝咧，我同阿葉局長咧嚟到呢度咧，都誒睇翻嗰個整體嘅情況誒，都係運作咧係非常之暢順嚇，市民咧都係一路誒有序咁喺度等候嚇，同埋打針。